Let's talk about projectile motion. So projectile motion is any motion of an object moving through air or space. And when an object is moving through uh, air and space, there's, there's two forces working there. There's one, the initial horizontal velocity, and then there is the force of gravity, which is always pulling it down to center of Earth. And just to review, uh, the velocity of a falling object under the force of gravity is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared times time. So that's how we can calculate the velocity at any given time after an object is released. And whether it's moving horizontally or, or dropping straight, that uh, vertical velocity will always be the same. Okay? So let's look at a problem you might get with um, projectile motion, where we have an object moving in a horizontal velocity and also under the influence of gravity pulling it down. Let's say I'm on a cliff and I've got a golf ball and I'm going to hit it in the horizontal direction 30 meters per second. After I hit it, it takes four seconds to hit the ground below the cliff. And I want to know what was that final velocity when that ball hit the ground, okay? Well, that's going to be a couple vectors. So my first vector when I hit the ball is 30 meters per second, and we'll say in the uh, x direction, okay? Now, <clears throat> once I hit it though, gravity is pulling it down. So I've got this force pulling down. And that force, again, what's that velocity going to be? Well, I'm adding up velocities here, so I want to say it's going to be 9.8 meters per second squared times time. In this case, 4 seconds. So if I say I'm going to go ahead and simplify and say 10 meters per second, okay? And I have four seconds. I'm going to cancel my seconds and I'm going to get 40 meters per second, okay? So, oops, I'm sorry, this is seconds squared, so I would cancel one of the squares and I would have four meter, 40 meters per second. So my y velocity is four meters per second. And again, adding vectors, I have 30 meters per second along the horizon, or the x, and I have 40 meters per second along the y. I'm going to get that as my final velocity. Okay? Now, how can I figure out what this velocity is? Well, if you look at this, I formed a right triangle. Okay? There's my 90 degrees. Okay, and I can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve this question, where I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's go ahead and plug in. A squared is going to be 900, B squared is 1600, and so C squared is 900 plus 1600 or 2500 equals C squared. So C, my final velocity, equals 50 meters per second. So that's how I can, again, use uh, that triangle and the right angle with the Pythagorean theorem to solve a projectile motion when an object is moving in a horizontal direction initially.